Nothing moves the block! <laughs> Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews, my name is John and in this episode we will be reviewing the arcade classic X-Men. X-Men is a side-scrolling beat-em-up that was developed by Konami in 1992. Now growing up in the 80s and 90s, everybody was an X-Men fan and it didn't even matter which camp you were in, Marvel, DC, it didn't matter, everybody read X-Men. When something major happened in the comics, it was the talk of town, like when Havoc accidentally killed Storm, all the kids were talking about it. Around 1990, Jim Lee joined the roster of the Uncanny X-Men staff, becoming the lead penciler. And when that happened, X-Men reached a fever pitch. You had the writing genius of Chris Claremont in combination with the artistic talents of Jim Lee. This made Uncanny X-Men crazy popular. Then unexpectedly, when you think things couldn't get any better, BAM! X-Men came out. Not Uncanny X-Men, just X-Men. Volume 2, Issue 1. It dropped in the comic stores and forget about it. Till this day, I never seen a comic debut make such a big splash onto pop culture. It even made the Guinness Book of World Records as the best selling comic of all time with 8.1 million copies sold. So during the peak of X-Men fever, Konami comes in with their winning side scroll and beat em up formula and just drops this game into the X pool and it was an instant hit. The game was just as cool as Ninja Turtles and it couldn't have come at a better time despite the 2D error. In this game, you can choose one of the six X-Men to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Magneto and his Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. The game plays like your typical Konami beat-em-up, but what's cool about the game is that if you got lucky, you got to play on a coveted six-player cabinet. <laughs> which was pretty badass, especially if five others are already playing. Man, then you hit the mother load because this game is crazy with six players going at it. At times, people would just give you a quarter if you ran out just to keep the action going. Fun fact, at the time, there was a lot of commotion about the addition of Dazzler to the character lineup. I mean, everybody was like, Dazzler? <laughs> Why not Jean Grey, Havoc, Rogue, or even Beast? This is because the characters and plot of X-Men the Arcade Game was based on the unaired animated pilot X-Men Pride of the X-Men. X-Men truly defined the arcade experience. It was a shame that this game wasn't ported over to the SNES or the Genesis at the time because it would have been big. The game is currently available on the PlayStation Network and the Xbox Live Arcade. If you like retro arcade games, then you have already played this game and this message is not for you. If you haven't played this game, then grab five other players and play this game. It's pretty cool and let me know what you think. Destruction. 